Hello, everybody. This is Gregory with 5-Minute Catholic Apologetics, where five minutes of your time may get you to the divine. Today, we're going to talk about finding commonality among Protestants. Now, before I begin, let's start with a prayer. Nomina Patris et Filii et Spiritui Sancti. Amen. Gloria Patris et Filii et Spiritui Sancto. Sucuto in Principio et Nuca et Semper et Secula et Seculorum. Amen. Some of you might be like, Gregory, what? Finding common ground? And albeit some of my videos here might be a little strident toward Protestants, but it's all out of charity. You know, with the, with the way the Catholics look at it, it's like we are a gigantic boat going across the Atlantic. And the Protestants are little lifeboats that jumped off the big boat. And they're kind of wandering off away from the big boat. But they're still originated from the big boat. But they're a little lost and we want to bring them back. So, it's always meant out of love and charity. Paul preached in 1 Corinthians, right, that, that we must have one church. Some of you follow Cephas, some of you follow Apollos, some of you follow Jesus, one church. And Jesus told Peter, upon you I will build my church. So ultimately it's out of love and charity. So I think it's important to find common ground, not necessarily to find common ground as a way to evangelize to Protestants, but also understand, you know, and I think we forget this. And I remember telling this to a man that, that I met at a coffee shop that was very uh, argumentative and incendiary, that I told him, I go, brother, you know, you and I have more in common with each other than we do with atheists. You know, both of our groups are being poached by moral relativism, postmodernist thinking, and the evil that is atheism. And he's like, no, 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 no. You know, he, he had, and we had that episode, why can't Protestants become Catholics? You know, he had that deep, deep-seated anti-Catholic prejudice. But we really do have more in common with ourselves than with the atheists. And it's going to reach a point, and you can read the tea leaves, that we're going to have to align against our common enemy, the cultural Marxists, and heaven forbid, the political Marxists. It's gonna happen. So what are some common grounds we can find with Protestants? There's actually a lot, you know? And why is there a lot? Because everything that the Protestants hold dear, or much of it comes from originally the Catholic Church. So you think of the Bible. Catholics love the Bible. Now the Protestants will say the Catholics don't, Catholics don't know the Bible. I think that's a fair argument because in the Catholic world, the Bible is one of many sources that we use. The Bible is extremely important. I mean, without the Catholic Church, you wouldn't have the Bible today. We talked about it in the episode. But certainly, are the large majority of Catholics well-versed in Scripture? No, they're not. But we all love the Bible. It's divinely inspired. It's principal author. It's the Holy Spirit. We both agree with that. And... Yes, we might not agree on how we get salvation, for example. That's a big sticking point. But there's a lot of things that we have in common. And certainly, if you read the Old Testament, there's really very little disagreement. I mean, the Old Testament, of course, like, like the whole Bible, and we, have, we need to have an episode on this, is not, you know, the, the Bible is not meant to be a history book. It's a story of salvation history. And, it, and then later, the New Testament, it's really, it's, it's a story about the ministry of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles. But the Old Testament's about salvation history, and it's just good moral stories. So if you, if you look at the stories that come from Genesis and Judges, like Samson and Delilah and Kings and all of these things, we can all relate to them. This is why I tell you, if you have kids, show them Superbook on Amazon Prime, because even though that's run by Protestants, all those episodes, aside from maybe the one on Revelation, is is consistent with Catholic teaching because it's just the stories and you learn the morality. So certainly we can rally around, oh, you know, that David shouldn't be sleeping with Bathsheba. Oh, that David and Goliath. Oh, you know, whatever it is. Oh, those those Israelites in First and Second King, man, they were really turning away from God. You know, whatever it is, the story of Joseph, the story of redemption and God's will. We have an episode on that. You can all relate. You can all relate to that. But we all love the Bible. So focus on that. What else can we focus on? Jesus Christ. I mean, I mean, that's the obvious thing. I mean, regardless of where do you feel ideologically, we all love Jesus Christ. We all believe he is our Lord and our Savior. Protestants like to tell you that we don't have a personal relationship with Christ. This is nonsense. We eat the body and blood of Christ. I mean, there is no higher summative point than that. 
Are we born again? Of course we're born again in baptism. Yes, yeah, of course we are. But we, we love Jesus Christ. We all believe He's our Lord and Savior. So that is a common ground. We can talk about how much we love Jesus Christ, how we pray to Jesus Christ, go through His parables like you know we do here, go through His, his, his lessons, His exhortations to His apostles, all of this. Even in the epistles. Go to the episode I did, the five themes running through the New Testament. Protestants would agree with at least half of those. We need to admonish a sinner. We need to watch out for false teachers. Now, of course, there's a different view of who's the false teacher there. But we certainly would relate to that. We relate to not liking the devil and demons. Most Protestants believe that there is spiritual warfare out there, like most Catholics believe. Most Protestants believe that there is a judgment. Now, salvation is a, a different issue. But they will agree on that. So certainly there's things that we can agree on that we need to focus on. What else? Works of charity. Now, in the Catholic Church, this is one of the things that optimize your chance of salvation. Now, you know, we've talked about salvation quite a bit here. Catholics believe that you can lose your salvation. So that's, that's going to be a disagreement there. But again, we're looking at commonality. But works of charity, or as we, we say works of mercy, the 14 works of mercy, corporal and spiritual, a lot of Protestants believe too. There's a lot of outreach and apostolates. They want to call them apostolates, but there's a lot of outreach that, that Protestant churches do to feed the poor to inform the ignorant. Now, they maybe don't pray for the dead, which is one of the 14, but certainly the corporal works of mercy, they're aligned with. Forgiving the sinner, that's another one they'd probably be in line with. So again, that's commonality. So instead of focusing on what we don't get along with when you have Protestant friends, and maybe don't be as um, uh, tendentious with them, focus on commonality. Hey, we love Jesus Christ. We love the Bible. Works of charity are important. And there's other things that we agree. We agree that Christianity was such an amazing, had such an amazing influence and effect on the world, not just Western civilization. I mean, you can't separate Western civilization from Christianity. The two are inseparable. Even though the European Union, not that long ago, a few years ago, uh, rewrote the Constitution, doesn't even mention that Christianity was important. And that just tells you how how much infiltration there is of, of Marxism in the EU. When, when you can write something that's so laughably stupid, but our effect on changing the world through the mission of Jesus Christ, we can all agree with. So focus on the commonality. And remember, we do have a common enemy, and we pray for that common enemy, the atheists. We pray for them to come back to God. We really do. Guys, post in the comments. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Please hit the notification, subscribe, and share button. Share with like-minded people. Until next time, take care. God bless and pray.